Hello everyone and welcome to Chinese Stocks Channel. Zhongguo Gu Piao Ping Dao. I'm Michael and today's video is about the amazing earnings report of Futu Holdings. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome on board. I'm Michael. I lived in China for the last five years and assisted international companies in finding Chinese partners and investors. In my channel, I cover the most interesting Chinese companies and their stocks. It was just a week and a half ago that I published this video about Futu Holdings when it was just $29.7 a share, predicting it's the right timing to buy the stock. Since then, the stock saw an upside of more than 44% to $43 a share. Today, before market opens and after Futu released its third quarter earnings report, the Futu futures are up more than 11%. In this video, I will share with you Futu Holdings results and my predictions for the future. So before we start, I'd be more than happy if you hit the like button and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm and will help me massively in order to release more content about Chinese companies and their stocks. So Futu published its third quarter earnings report just an hour ago. And here are the amazing numbers. In the last quarter, Futu saw an addition of around 115,000 new paying clients from 303,000 to 418,000, a growth of almost 38% quarter over quarter. The total number of registered clients grew by 22.8% quarter over quarter and 79.7% year over year and reached 1,173,000 registered clients. Total client assets increased by 41% from the second quarter and 177% year over year to 200.9 billion Hong Kong dollars, which are around 25.9 billion dollars. Total number of users reached 10.4 million users, reflecting 11.8% growth quarter over quarter and 52.2% growth year over year. As per the financial highlights, to saw revenues grow by more than 37.3% quarter over quarter and 272% year over year to $122.1 million. Total gross profit grew by 43% quarter over quarter and 314% year over year and reached $98.6 million. Net income saw an outstanding growth of 69.8% quarter over quarter and was up more than 18 times year over year to reach $51.8 million. Those numbers are just outstanding. In the third quarter earnings report, the CEO and chairman of Futu said our China, mainland and Hong Kong paying clients both experienced triple digit growth in the last quarter, driven by a number of industry tailwinds, including continued market volatility and the wave of high profile Hong Kong IPOs of Chinese companies, especially in technology, biotech, and property management sectors. Organic growth continued to contribute over half of our new paying clients. We're very confident about hitting our full year paying clients guidance. The number of the new paying clients for the first quarter was around 40,000. The number of the new paying clients for the second quarter was around 64.5 thousand. And this quarter was around 115,000 new clients. In order to reach the new yearly guidance of 280,000 new paying clients, Futu needs to add another 60,000 new paying clients in the fourth quarter. And I think Futu is going to smash this number with next quarter results. In the report, Futu adds that the strong IPO market continued to play in their favor. In the third quarter, six IPOs recorded over 10 billion Hong Kong dollars, 
subscription respectively on our platform they say including the US IPOs of XPEG Motors and Beiko and the Hong Kong IPOs of Nongfu Spring and Mingyuan Cloud. To note, the Hong Kong IPO of Nongfu Spring attracted 110,000 retail investors to subscribe over 35 billion Hong Kong dollars on Futu platform. So as we know, Ant Group IPO was meant to take place in November and be reflected in the fourth quarter results. The number of subscribers for Ant IPO was way bigger than that of Nongfu and I assume that although this IPO is not going to take place anywhere in the near future or even ever, the Chinese retail investors kept their money in the brokerage and found other investments for their money. The coming few months are going to be exciting for Futu with more IPOs of JD Health, JD Digits, Airbnb and maybe even TikTok. The market is going to be super hot in the coming quarter and I'm more than sure Futu is going to smash their guidance. Moreover, volatility plays in Futu's favor. The fear from another lockdown in the US when Biden is in office, the news about new vaccines, all those make the market very volatile and make the number of trades rise. Looking long term, I think Futu is on the right track and its amazing growth will reflect on its stock. I myself invest in Futu. Nothing in this video though is to make you buy or sell its shares. This is just an introduction to the company. Before you decide to invest in any stock, make sure to make your own research. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Give it a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm. See you in the next video and have a great day.